Hey, Kevin, how are you? Kevin, how are you? We're here with Kevin Harris, the, the winner of our uh, solar giveaway. Yes. Very, very exciting stuff to finally see this come to fruition. And uh, looks like the boys have already started. And uh, we're going to get into that and some of the details of what they're doing right now. Initially, this had uh, an old, about 10-year-old three-tab roof on it that's been completely uh, removed and replaced. Along the way, we replaced a lot of rotten wood and just got it ready to be a good foundation for the solar system that we're installing today. If we want to take a look towards the roof right now, we can see that we've begun to lay out some of the feet. We have some of our chalk lines to make sure that the panels go on nice and straight, exactly how they're supposed to. And then the next step will be wiring them all together and then finally installing the panels and making sure that we're turning some of this uh, sunlight into energy. Our team is divided of a couple different professionals and uh, maybe we should walk over to Electrical and see how he's doing over here. All right, so uh, when we first met Mr. Harris, he had a little bit of an outdated electrical panel. So uh, part of, of what we bring to the table here at Bison is that not only are we licensed roofers, licensed solar installers, but we're also licensed electricians. So we had to make sure that his equipment was brought up to date, met all the current local and NEC codes. So what we've done is we've taken what used to be a combo panel and actually thrown that away, uh, had FPL shut off the power and install a brand new load center. This way, if Mr. Harris or his family wants to add anything down the road, he's not maxed out. And we have a brand new 200 amp service right here, in addition to a brand new, new meter can. So what we're gonna be able to do is, is make our connections on the hot conductors between his main breaker and his meter. This way, all the solar that feeds in won't hurt any of his other uh, appliances or anything that he has set up and he has a brand new electrical service moving forward. Over here you can see this is where uh, the power comes in directly from FPL, goes in these wires here, goes into the main breaker that he has right here. Then after that, all these breakers get distributed to the main part of his house. And then this, these wires right here are hot. You do not want to touch these. These actually go into the main house to service all of his interior appliances. What we're going to do is uh, make a, a tap connection on these wires right here. And that's going to make sure that uh, when his solar back feeds and we get our brand new meter, we're going to spin it backwards during the day. Part of the process when you're working with us is we inspect the electrical equipment before we actually go to install solar. We find that this is very important so that there's no surprises for the customer later. Uh, in this case, it was very, very important for us to change this out. The equipment that he had was dated and was uh, not rated to handle the back feeding amps that we're going to put in with solar. So a lot of times, I think when other companies get to this, they either try to make it work or maybe lower a breaker, which could actually hurt the customer, or, or do something maybe uh, deceitful or something that they can to, uh, to trick you know, the, the customer into signing today and then locking them into some charge later. We find that it's very, very important to look at this stuff first, get it right, and make sure that all permits are pulled and all inspections are passed long before we even begin of thinking of uh, attaching the solar. And then this is uh, probably one of the last times we'll see this old meter. Once we do pass all our, our electrical permits with uh, the city of Oakland Park, we're gonna send that directly to FPL's net metering department. Once they receive that, they actually come and swap this out for a meter that uh, spins both ways. It'll still be a digital meter, but when we overproduce, we can actually watch the meter spin from right to left, and that is when we're actually selling energy at full retail price back to the utility. And that's what makes solar possible. There's no need for batteries. Uh, FPL's grid essentially is your battery, and we make sure that we utilize that on every solar installation.